It starts with a bank teller abducted from her own home in Phoenix on Friday night and a suspected bomb strapped around her neck. The FBI is now on this case, and ABC's Mohammed Leela has more. It's a quiet strip mall, now the scene of an FBI investigation. The horrifying ordeal started Friday. The victim, a woman who works at the Bank of America branch here, was at home when an intruder stormed in sometime after 6 p.m. FBI investigators say she spent the entire night held hostage in her own home. The next morning at around 8, the suspect drives her to the bank and straps what he says is a bomb to her neck. Luckily, when other employees show up about an hour later, they call police. By then, the suspect is long gone without any of the money. Police move in quickly and discover the bomb is a fake. A traumatic night to be held against your will, uh, to be used as a pawn in a bank robbery. Do people out there think they can actually get away with crimes like this? They know it's a risk, but they feel like it's worth it for the payoff because it's just how bad guys think. As outrageous as it was, this isn't the first time someone has strapped a bomb on a hostage to get money. Just last year, 18-year-old Madeline Pulver was alone in the family's multi-million dollar Australia home when a masked intruder burst in. He strapped a bomb-like device to her neck, leaving a letter behind demanding money, warning the device would go off if Pulver called the cops. Bravely, she did, and after 10 excruciating hours, a bomb squad defused the device, only to learn later it was a fake. As for the suspect in Phoenix, FBI investigators are now combing the victim's home for clues. The victim is now recovering with police hot on the suspect's trail. If you had to guess, how long do you think it's going to take before police catch who is behind this? I'd be willing to bet by next week we'll know something. For Good Morning America, I'm Muhammad Lila, ABC News, Washington.